What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today and today we have a uh, the safety card slash airplane memorabilia review section of my um, airplane collection I suppose. Not the bottles or anything. This is more of the stuff I've got on planes and stuff. So I thought I would review it for you guys today. And there's a lot of stuff so we're going to get started quickly. So if you're excited, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're always notified when new videos are coming to the channel. You're not going to want to miss out on this type of content. Trip Report came out on Friday so you're not going to want to miss out on anything. So without further delay, we are going to get started because there is a ton of stuff since the last safety card video in 2017. So I was thinking of video ideas and I decided to go with this because I mean it has expanded drastically since the last time we did this. So we're going to start with some uh, older stuff to begin. I have all kinds of stuff if you can't tell. So I have a little section right here so we're going to begin with this. So beginning with a uh, 2018 or 2017 rather, this cock cookie uh, that I kept from a American Airlines 737 flight from uh, Tulsa to Chicago here. Uh, really nice to have that in wrapper. Then we have the July 2018 fresh flavors from American. Um, nice selection, probably hasn't changed much. It'll be awesome to compare to the uh, next uh, fresh flavors I have somewhere, but we'll go over all this stuff first. And there's a ton of safety cards, of course. So we have some bag tags here from those flights. A1543 uh, from Chicago to Tulsa, and then we have uh, American 3095, the SkyWest flight on July 15th from Ch Rochester, Minnesota to um, Chicago here. Then we have 3047 from Tulsa to Charlotte, and 1326, sorry, the, uh, 1326 is our uh, Tulsa Chicago flight and the Rochester flight was 3047. We have the July 2018 um, entertainment card. Again, probably very similar to what they have now. I wish I would have that credit card. It looks really cool in my opinion. The entertainment card, or this is a different entertainment card. This is the Wi Fi card. Pretty big. And then they have a Sprint ad in there, so they had a partnership with Sprint at the time. Don't know what they do. This is a July 2017. Um, this July 2017 Fresh Flavors, which it's grown a, they grew a page since then, so only in your group page. So that's pretty awesome. American Way for um, August 2018. I think what flight it took in August 2018 I would have got an American way from. Um, oh, this must have been from the Albuquerque trip. Nexos 2018. I forgot these were on 737s because I only flew 737s in MD80s or an MD80 in 2018. I think so. Must have got it from the MD80, I think I remember now. This is July 2017 American Way. The back's probably expanded a lot, but here's my favorite page. Probably has a lot of new flights. Kind of getting the light good, but it's been an awesome day of contrail spotting. So that video, I want to make a video of that. That'll be coming soon. So just to let you guys know. Air sickness bag from probably the same time, 2017 or 18. Now we're going to start, or we'll do all this stuff at the top here real quick because there's a lot of crap. Not in a bad way, but... <laughs> Fresh flavors, October 2018. This is from the DCA trip. Um, pretty big. I think that these sandwiches were still here. So, yeah, just a lot of stuff. Um, American Way for, uh, where did it say here? September 2019. This is fairly new. This must have been from, this was from my um, last MD-80 flight scenario. Still very glad I got to go on that. Uh, I think they decreased size. It looks smaller. Maybe it is the same. Yes, it is the same. So here's a couple of additions. Quite a few American ways I have. 8 to 19 EOW safety card. This is from this is just from the 8 to 19 trip. Where did I 
just uploaded. Uh, the newer safety car is obviously pretty nice. I gave a nice serve. I gave a decent look at it in the trip report, but yeah, this is the same card, guys. So pretty awesome, isn't it? Next up, we have 2019 fresh flavors for American. And here's your full page. Oh, I think it's changed some, obviously, with the different items you can have. So, and then you have some etched stuff on the back. Another um, air sickness bag. Sorry, my left arm's already getting tired. Workouts are tough. Uh, this is for the Grand Hyatt in tw uh, 2019 when I went spotting up there in the morning, so this was pretty cool. Yeah, just the amount and cards. Not much to brag about, but I kept it. Nexos, July 2019, I think. It's, so, I think that's what it means. Cool magazine. I'm not really... I need to read these all one day, but... Pretty cool. American Way, July 2019. Uh, this was obviously from the failed MD-80 trip. But... Uh, I was trying to get to the route network. Hopefully you guys are sitting back and enjoying because this is just a long video just reviewing all my stuff. Save, saving some of the safety card stuff, but awesome magazine. Try to roll through this a little quicker for you guys. Another sickness bag. July 2018 entertainment card. They were promoting the Captain Marvel movie, it looks like. Phone, tablet, laptop. That credit card's still around, if you can't tell. One of my favorites, one of my Super 80 safety cards from one of those flights in 2019. It was in that pile, so it's from one of those. No clue which flight, though, but still very nice. Um, probably should have marked it, but we got it. 737 safety card. This would have been for the Dallas-Nashville flight. Um, it's a 737 safety card. You'll see a lot of them through this. Not much to brag about, but still awesome. If you're following another 737, if you didn't see trip announcement, follow me on Instagram at Road River Aviation International Trip Port. Or in a, international trip will be coming in the summer. Um, here we have another fresh flavors. This looks like very similar to what I already had. Another July 2019, so it's identical to the last one we went over. Another next those for July 2019. I already looked at it. Uh, this was in the wrong pile, but this is the June 2019 Sky Delta magazine, which is pretty awesome. This is where they have their route networks and things. Or not, it's not the US, not what I was looking for. Here's the US, nice and big. Okay, out of that pile, we'll begin with some stuff at the bottom here. Camera battery's doing good, sweet. All right, we'll start with this Air 2 magazine. I got one year for Christmas. Um, it has some wet pages, but essentially just a lot of awesome pictures, so. Um, not much, but a lot of really good pictures put into a book, so. But, oh, they're all by Sam Q, or however you say that, so nice job there, man. Um, I'll put this all on my lap so I can return it all. Next, we have um, this magazine. Not sure what it is, but manual flight here for Cessnas, it looks like. So it probably just has a bunch of information about Cessnas. Pretty cool book. It would probably be beneficial for me to read this one day. Um, that I don't think has anything in it. That just got put in the pile, so that doesn't need to be there. We have a airliners magazine here. This was for I don't even know when this would have been for. Probably 2016 or something. Flying magazine. I'm kind of going to hurry through these because these aren't the cool stuff. Then we just have a bunch of magazines, extreme military. Some of these were gifts, so. Aeroplane. Airliners Classic. Not sure what that is. Another Airliners World with the BA-78 on it. Hey, here's a, oh, this is pretty sweet. This is a Sky Delta magazine. Didn't even know I had this. This is from August 2013. No clue. Probably my parents would have took to get their hands on this. I want to look at the route network because unfortunately Detroit, Tulsa is going to be in this. Latin America. Where's, oh, here's the fleet. That's worth looking at. 
Wow, look at how much the narrow body fleet especially has progressed. That's insane. Wow. Ember 145. I think some of these are missing because there's no way. There was zero to 200s and 700s in here, so. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, though, to have that. And then two flying magazines right there, so. As you can tell, these haven't moved in a long time, so. It's nice to always go back and look through some older stuff, you know. So, let me put those back. And there's a couple of other things here. Didn't make the greatest pile putting those back. Oh, not the receipt. I kind of want to show you guys that. Okay, then we have the history. One of my favorite documentary series, The Ten Must Scream Airports. Might be watching that tonight. I haven't watched it in a long time. It's always good to go back and watch. Here's a McDonald's receipt for this was on September 3rd, the last in the 80 flight. It's pretty awesome to have that. Then we have some old pretzel bags here. We have um, mini pretzels from, this was 2017 or 18. Don't see a copyright date on this, but it was around that time. These are all from this summer. These are pretty cool. These are the themed airports. We have Dallas, DFW, Chicago, ORD, New York City, this one's full. Um, Los Angeles, full. In the back, we have Charlotte full, and I unfortunately not accumulate any more than those, but that's so awesome to have. A lot of those just came from volunteer, volunteer, volunteers who volunteered them off, uh, just offered them to me, and then a couple of them were from family members too, so. And we got a lot of cups here, beginning with this from the recent Delta flights uh, to Atlanta. We have a... Um, CRJ 900 MD88, we got the Biscoffs, I can't tell you which is which, and some napkins there, so pretty awesome. These were from American, probably, uh, these were from, definitely, from the, um, uh, the failed MD80 trip. Uh, here's the different wrapper look compared to the other. So this is 2017. These are what Deltas look like now with their logo. And then here's the newer for American, obviously. Actually smaller, so that's interesting, but. Yeah, uh, and then there is something really memorable to me. Then there's a penny that I found on heads in the MD-80, so I kinda go to that when I need good luck. These were from, oh. Probably not the DCA trip because it would have been a themed um, a themed, um, sorry, I'm signing my friend, a themed napkin, but these were for some American flight that I can't come up with right now. And then here's a Delta cup and Biscoff. Here's what Delta's wrappers look like with the Delta logo. So, that's what I meant. But nevertheless, and then we have a couple, one more book right here. It's a Wings Over America. Whoa. And then there is Aladdin something back there, but all these pretzels are gonna fall if I bring it out. It's not nothing really to brag about. Wings over America with some um older stuff in it. US Airways, Blue Two Love Livery for United, so pretty sweet. On to the safety cards at last. There's a lot of them, so I'm just gonna go through them. I'll leave the boarding passes for the end. So let's begin. I'll save my favorite for last. Obviously, you guys have seen the back. Uh, you guys can probably tell what it is. Another American 80, Super 80 Supercard. Um, no clue what flight, but still really cool. Some of these are labeled. Uh, one of my parents' friends brought me these two American 777-300 ER safety cards, so just happy to get those. Delta Ember 175, yes, I did fly this. And then the two CRJ 700s and the CRJ 900 from the Minneapolis or the Rochester trip again. So those trip ports on the channel if you want to see them. Ember 175, two CRG 200s, and CRG 900. So pretty sweet little load out there. Followed by three British Airways trade, or these actually I think came from the friend as well. A319 should be a 320, two 320s, so pretty cool. Delta 
Wi-Fi card from who knows when. Can't get it to open. I'm gonna say one page really. That's crazy. 15 minutes. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Be ready for more airport updates. A320 card from the DCA trip. Two of them right there. Newest revision. 225 revision, 737. I think they're all 225. So, um, Delta. No, this is something else. This is like a magazine for London Heathrow. So that's pretty cool. And they had the whole map in the back. There's Terminal 3. So, that's pretty cool. Also from that same friend is the American Triple Seven Two Hundred safety card, so that's pretty sweet. American Wi-Fi card, August twenty or October twenty eighteen. Obviously promoting that solo movie back then. Also with the solo Star Wars movie with the pink for breast can breast cancer awareness month. American Way for October twenty eighteen. I don't think they were promoted much here. This is the same stuff you'll find every month from the American way. Cookie bag offered if I wanted a cookie. They gave me a bag from the Grand Hyatt, so that was pretty cool. I'm going to put all those up here at the top. Uh, Lutonza A319 safety card and Eurowings A320 safety card. These came from... His name was Ralph Brown, the user in YNC.spotting or something. He was on Instagram for the longest time. Since has terminated, but these are pretty cool cards. Um, Lutonzas, they're really thin compared to US Airlines. And what seems to be a lot more basic. This is just a one pager. Yeah, that's in the same language, just different stuff on the back and front. But that's still awesome. Delta Sky Magazine from December 2019. These were just recent. So, these are from last month. This was a dirty edition I got. Um, I forgot if that was CRJ900 and V88. American received from the failed MD80 trip. Then we have the recent stuff from the Delta flights. We have our CRJ900 safety card. I'll give you guys a quick glimpse here of that. There's like a hundred cards here or something crazy. Deltas are nice, but American layout will always be my favorite. That CRJ-900 was on M4 Air. We had our uh, bag tag. Then we had the um, awesome magazine with the polar bears for Coke. Uh, followed by some car or some tickets I found in the MD-88 in the seat back. 33E uh, a family going from Atlanta to Fort Myers uh, a couple days before one day before actually on a 1253 departure so that's pretty sweet I kept those. MD88 safety car finally glad to have this in the collection obviously as you can tell um, Different compared to Americans. That says two on it. CRJ 700 or 900 says seven on it, so I'm not sure what that means. Delta fuel flight for November and December 2018. So now we're doing my jets emerging months. Breakfast and lunch, dinner served there. They have the all day snacks and stuff. So this is pretty much their f fresh flavors for American. They call it fuel flight. Delta's Wi Fi card. This is a lot more recent. It's the same as what I just went over right there, so. That's a lot of stuff right there. Um, let's see here. We have another Feld MD-80 bag tag deal. From that trip, so I meant. American A319 safety card. Uh, same as the one I already showed, actually. Uh, these are shorter compared to the other ones for whatever reason. I need to organize this. We're kind of running out of room. But since we're getting the new flooring in, um, I decided to do this now because um, the room's about to be demolished. So because you have to move everything to get a new room, so or to put in a new floor rather. These were all from the um, 
Feld MD80 safety card, or Feld MD80 trip. Uh, these are just the screenshots of the flights printed. Okay, we're finally getting to the nitty and gritty, some of the stuff that you guys have already seen. That's from the, um, crap, I forgot what trip that was, but it's some confirmation for one of those trips. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys the final stuff that you guys haven't already seen yet. Let me move you guys up some. Delta CRJ 700 safety card, um, from Gout, which, Solix, it was either Solix, I think it was Minneapolis, my mom got that for me. I got this in the Albuquerque trip, 737-800 revised, the only one that I have, so this is a pretty awesome card. Nothing different, of course, but it has the yellow label. Maybe I should go find a Max card just to have, so I can just frame in the back of every video. I probably should have used this more, unfortunately, I only got the... I only used it the, when I was gave it to me, but this is the American Airlines Junior Aviator Logbook. So this is pretty cool. Um, here's the flight documented. It was on MD-80. So there's my name. And then you got all the old planes. We had the Triple Two, Seven Six Three, Seven Six Two, Seven Five Seven, Seven Thirty Seven, the Boeing MD-80. And here's the log. So there was an example. So it was on March 19th, 2013. I don't remember this flight at all. Because I remember the flight in August, but I do not remember. I thought that was the flight I got, but this must have been a different flight that I did not document. I don't remember it at all. I'm going to go back and check through in Instagram. Well, it was the MD-80, of course, from Tulsa DFW. It was 206 nautical models. This was by Captain Hyden and says, Thanks for flying AA. Uh, this was flight 343. But I don't remember it at all, so that's pretty insane. There's plenty of room for more flights that I should have documented. So, kind of unfortunate. But, you know, when you're always in a rush to make connections and stuff, it's kind of one of the things you don't think about. Delta CRJ 900 safety card from one of the Minneapolis flights, so I have a couple of those. Oh man, there's a lot of crap. <laughs> Delta 767-400 safety card, once again, in that trout with the Ralph Brown, so that was pretty nice to have that. He also gave the British Airways A320 safety card. This is different compared to my other A320. It's only two pages, so that's cool. A320 Elegant. That's, once again, one of the Europe safety cars. It looks pretty cool. This was a... Was this an Emirates? Yeah, I think this is an Emirates um, air sickness bag or something. I forgot what airline doesn't have a logo, so that's pretty awesome. And um, Ergo Linus Sky Team 737-700-800 safety card. There's a lot weird. There's a pretty weird with those. Um, kind of look real, kind of don't look real people. Now, this is everything you guys have seen uh, back in 2017, but a lot of you guys weren't here, so we're going over it. Alaska 737-800-900 safety card. I don't know if there's still like this. Unfortunately, I will not know yet. This was from November 442 Alpha, whatever S is. This was on August 8, 2017 from Baltimore, San Diego. Gave it to me by the name of... Um, Hey Jay, uh, Charlotte Aviation on Instagram, we made a big trade, sent him a lot of American stuff and he sent me quite a few of his and he labeled most of it. I have a couple of mine labeled, that's labeled and that will always be, I want to get that framed. Luton's A380 safety card, this is awesome in my opinion. Um, I did not get this myself, that was through the trade. No, we got some retro stuff we're going to save for the end. We'll, we'll pick up this stuff because I don't think we've seen this. S80 safety card. This was from my parents' flight in early 2018. They went to Dallas when they were going to Utah to ski. American 737-800 safety card with some boarding passes. Yeah, these were definitely my uh, parents' flights. Let me put those over there with the new safety cards that look horrible. Here the, the, is the 737 card. They got the new cards too. Delta Emerald 175. Hey, more boarding passes. Hey, my, um, who is that? Who's the name here? Because one of them sat in the same sea as me. 
my dad sat in the same seat and my mom sat next to him and then Oh, these were basic <laughs> basic economy seats, so they got assigned at the gate. That's great. They left from gate C thirteen from Salt Lake City to Tulsa. And they still fly in bronze seventy fives on that, so I guess my mom's habits to leave safe or boarding passes in the um plane. Frontier 8321 safety card. You, this reminds me of the Europe safety cards, honestly. Kind of, but you know, if I fry a Frontier, maybe. I'm just stacking them all up here because um, this is all getting demolished. I should have thought about that with that, dang it. But it's all getting demolished when we move on. I did not pick up an Allegiant MD safety card, which I'm very upset about when I was on it. But I did get an A319 through a trade. And this is kind of different. This is four pages. I kind of forgot. But here it is. And I don't think I got that. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but I might have. No, not my favorite. Southwest 737 700 and 800 safety card. Nice and big. Like to see if they've redone it since. We'll start with these here. We have three Uniteds. We have the R2 737 800 and 900. Let me see if I can get a decent view. Pretty cool card. Followed by an E319 R3 edition. Um, every airline's different, it seems, but I prefer American's layout. Not because I'm biased, but just because, I mean, in my opinion, it looks the best. And the front of the card at least has some color to it and has safe travels to the bottom. It could just be plain globe. United A320 R3 as well. Again, pretty sweet card. I got those, one of those AJ trades from. They're not labeled, so they're probably not trades from that. I made a lot of trades back in 2017. Here's some Delta cards. 717-200. Playing on failed, failed to fly. These were from him. So this was on November 937. Alpha Tango from Greysburg. Um, the place in North Carolina. I forgot what it was. Uh, I forgot what it was. To Atlanta, 510-17. 2015 revised. It's got the copyright in the back, so pretty sweet card. We got 757-200 plane. I would love to fly for Delta. This version doesn't have wingles right there, so interesting. This was uh, November 549 US from Atlanta to Detroit. Also on the same day, 717. So he was going to Detroit for something probably, unless if he had another connection. Uh, I got this card myself, the CRJ200 SkyWest card. I labeled it. It was on November 477CA. Rochester O'Hare 71517. Nice card. A lot of American stuff left. We have a CRJ700 that my mom got at some point. I've still flied the, failed, the, failed to fly a... Yeah, I haven't flown a CRJ700 yet. I was supposed to. Uh, this was after I went, but this is in 519A from Tulsa to O'Hare, 731, 17. CRJ 900 card. I labeled all of these. How about that? One World. That's the main one. I only, I really needed that labeled. The majority of those, like the MD88, CRJ 900 in that pile, I could label those. I might get that at some point. Inside, November 502, November, November, from Charlotte to Myrtle Beach, 722, 17. Um, we're leaving that for the very end, of course. And then we still have a lot of boarding passes, and I think we're barely 30 minutes in. 28. Thank you guys so much for being here, if you're still here. American 8 through 19, 616. November 838. Amer uh, Alpha Whiskey from Myrtle Beach, Charlotte, 725, from that uh, awesome vacation. American 8 through 20 EWO. This is probably the yeah O'Hare flight 122, 122 US. I've seen this plane a couple times. I'm pretty sure since I flew it. But nice card. American 8 through 21. This is probably Dallas flight. Yes. The River 572 Uniform Whiskey uh, DFW Charlotte 722. Let me make sure my phone in. Was it something? No, it wasn't a call. Okay, I was dreaming. A lot of cards, a lot of cards. There's at least 100 there. 
American Super 80. Which play was this? This was November of 968 Tango Whiskey from Tulsa to Dallas on 722. Love this safety card to death. I actually got an old version that we're about to go over. So we got a 7.5 and a 7.37. So the 7.37 I flew. O'Hare, Tulsa, November 934 AN. That was an awesome trip. We got the flight through the plane, so I thought it was pretty sweet. 7.57 Mountain Mine. This was from November 602 AN. Um, this plane's pretty awesome. Fast Aviation's here. He uh, definitely knows a lot about this plane. He flew it twice. EG to DFW on 621.17. It's worth sending him a picture of because he will enjoy it. Ironic. Okay, let's do some really good stuff. We have an American 757 200 safety card from 20. Um, I want to say this is my 2013 flights to Savannah, Georgia. Well, I labeled it 813 Tulsa, Dallas. Don't have any more information. Don't even know the tell numbers. Pretty unfortunate. I do have some clips from it though. If I looked deep in computers, maybe I could find it. And we have the S80 Supercard. I love the old layout. It looks really good. Even though the new one's still really good in my opinion, too. DFW Tulsa. It hasn't changed much. I love. That's pretty sweet. And then finally, my favorite safety card at all. American Airlines McDonald's MD80 November 9620 Delta. From Dallas for work to Tulsa, AA Flight 267, the last revenue MD-80 flight ever. The safety card. Final AA MD-80 flight into TUL, last revenue flight. AA 267, November 9620, Delta 93. 19. Pretty special. I'm actually going to set that by itself. Along with the boarding pass that was signed by my captain, Captain uh, J.R. Palmer, I believe is what he's trying to say. And then we have the first officer, I completely forgot his name, 26A, Group 8. Beautiful. Now we have a lot of boarding passes left, so let's go over the boarding passes, beginning with... Um, we'll start with the old stuff because why not? American 2275. This was on October 23rd, so this was in 2018 from Tulsa to Dallas. 26A on the MD80, so that's an awesome card. Boarding pass, rather. Washington Reagan to Dallas Fort Worth on October 23rd, A320 C12A. We have a DCA, the Charlotte um, bag tag thing. There's that flight seat 6A. That's a really good view on the A320. Uh, so if you want to get a view on the A320 for American 6A, I recommend. Tulsa Charlotte on 737. So that's what they do with the um, most important passes. Seat 16F, really good main cabin extra seat. 27F on um, August 12th. This would have been the MD80 home that night. Try not to show my freaking flyer number on most of those. So. Albuquerque to Dallas, seat 24F, American 737 Got some wear on it. We have a old um, bag tag, boarding pass still. This one got really beat up, but American 737-800-C20F, Dallas to Tulsa, or Dallas to Albuquerque, rather. Here's Tulsa to Dallas, American 737-800-C12F. Good seat. Wish I could have scooted up some. Wow, that's an actual boarding pass. This was kind of the mid-phase boarding pass. From This is from Char Chicago to Tulsa. Oh, I remember the story. 23F on American 737 that was at Myrtle Beach. They had a weird uh, check-in deal, I remember. Charlotte to Chicago, uh, 18A on the A320. Also a good seat. Man, I'm pulling a lot of 320s now, I really think about it. A lot of 
crap done on through security. 22F on the Ace 19 L LUS, which I may be back on. Uh, another hint. Go look at Instagram if you want to see. Charlotte 2 Myrtle Beach 22A on the. Um, I think that was the um, CRJ 900. So too many boarding passes. Um, Dallas to Chicago. 28F on the A through 21 LUS. God, there's a lot of stuff here, guys. Tulsa, Dallas, 26F on the MD80. Really good seat. One of the few times I probably sat in it, if not the only time. Finally, back to small boarding passes. This is Chicago, Tulsa, 16F on the MD80 from my Rochester flight. Rochester, Chicago on the CRJ200 C12 Delta. Uh, Chicago, Rochester on the 7A. Um, that would have been the CRJ700 as well. That's the flight that we barely made because of this flight that my mom decided to put us on. Uh, from Chicago to Rochester, or that's the flight that I barely made, seat 3B. Pretty good view as a night flight. There's our Tulsa Charlotte flight that we, or Tulsa Chicago flight that we barely made. 21E was my assigned seat, but I traded with my brother, and there's a lot of open seats since it got that bad delayed, so I would have got a window if I really needed to. Again, another passenger seat, though. Back to some new boarding passes. 26A, July 19th. Was this my, I think this was the uh, 26A. This was definitely my um, July. No, this is the, um, I'm sorry, that's the flight from last year to um, on the Feld MD80 trip. So that would leave us with 737 boarding pass. That is correct, 22F. That's the seat that I have for my next 737. I may do main cover to edge it on it. I keep giving away the trip. Go follow me on Instagram. Go find out about the trip. Nashville, Dallas, MD80, 29F. The only time I can sat in it. Very good seat. Really enjoy it. Really enjoyed it. So sad that it's done now. 22F on the baby bus. There's the new boarding pass uh, when I went to go find the MD80. Here's my backup cop backup copies. Two etched copies of my MD80 uh boarding pass. So never gonna lose those. Definitely not gonna lose the signed MD80 card, but I have a couple etched those. Not giving them away. Finally to the nitty and gritty. Uh boarding pass, dill, whatever, passenger receipt for a bag. Another uh bag receipt. Tulsa Atlanta, CRJ 700, Delta, main to uh, seat 19D on CRJ 700, or 900 was good. 31A, B20, Atlanta, Tulsa, Delta, MD88. Wow. 38 minutes later. Hope you guys enjoyed that very long. Yeah, there's only 10 minutes left on the SIM card. Hope you guys enjoyed that very long Um memorabilia trip down memory lane there's a lot of killer stuff in there so hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell i'll see you guys in the next video which will be a late storyline update or possibly a control spotting video i'll let you guys know follow me on instagram you're missing out on great pictures i'll see you guys next time red river aviation is signing off